change? How do you make it last? And how do you make it count? They say it isn't change that hurts. Change is never painful. Only the resistance to change is painful. There is no growth without challenge. So how do you win? How do you break through the doubt, the risk aversion, the naysayers? On the sports field, the big, bold moments from leaders define outcomes. Moments of clarity that separate the game changer from the supporting cast. It's no different in business, your business. The thing is though, we can all have moments of doubt. But you'll never know unless you take the shot. I'm Scott Russell and welcome to the Sapphire Customer Keynote. Good morning, Sapphire, day two. How is everyone feeling? Woo! All right, so the partying just kept on going until this morning. You know what, I was trying to do that video. I've still got it. You know, there wasn't like 10 or 15 takes to that one shot that went in. My layup is not bad. I think I've got a career. Tom Brady taught me yesterday, you're never too old to learn. Welcome everybody to what is a great event. I know you've heard it so many times, but we truly are excited to see you here. Why? Well, of course, we want to tell the SAP story. But what we're really excited about is for you to tell your story to each other. Customers going through difficult change, transformation of your businesses, and doing it in collaboration with each other and with our 23,000 per uh, business ecosystem of partners. It is so exciting to be here. Thank you for joining me in the audience, and thank you for those who are live digitally here in the audience. Give yourselves another round of applause. Let's get the energy going. So today we're going to talk about two things, two things that I think matter to you. In the room, we have leaders, the people who are accountable for driving the change in your business. You're going to hear from your peers, leaders of industry who have been through the transformation of their business. And that second word is the key, transformation. This isn't about lift and shift. This isn't about doing the same thing in another environment. This is about driving true business change with SAP technology. We heard yesterday, I don't know where they are, Julia, Christian, had an amazing keynote and we talked about what's possible. There is so much innovation being built and created and developed and rolled out by SAP with the innovation of our technology. But today, we go from possibility to reality. The reality of that change. And here is the good news for all of you. You're not alone. SAP is in this with you. We're not just the company that builds incredible technology. We want to be the ones that are accountable for the transformation of your journey. Moving to the destination is what's possible. But the journey of transformation, that's what makes it real. And we are with you every step of the way. Even better, as I say, we have 23,000 partners, millions of people who actually wake up in the morning and they say, hey, SAP is my business. But it's their business to help you. Companies like Wipro, who are in the moment in the middle of their transformation of Rise with SAP. Companies like NTT, who are building digital supply chain solutions for the insurance industry in collaboration with SAP. Companies like IBM, who are going through their own rise transformation, but their history of building great technology and combining that together with SAP to build better outcomes for you. And of course, you heard yesterday Christian and Julie talking about the Accenture journey with Rise and being able to build that with Saul. I could go on and on and on. 
My message is simple. The journey that you're undertaking, the journey that you're thinking about as you're here in Sapphire, there is an ecosystem and a company of SAP with 100,000 people whose whole livelihood is vested in your success. So what is success? Well, when we talk to our customers, they talk about it in outcomes. For SAP, we think about it in customer lifetime value. What's the experience you have working with us? What are the outcomes that you've achieved? And what's the speed of which you're able to do so? If we do that well, we know that you're able to achieve your success. And we're going to hear from two incredible leaders. Not my story, not SAP story, business stories of companies who have been through the change that you are doing as well. But I need to make it clear that we're not immune to this. Like every company that's in this room, we're being disrupted. For those who are in the technology industry, it's tough out there. The competition is hot. We cannot rest on our laurels. And when I took on this role of leading the executive board area for customer success, 40,000 incredible women and men who wake up every day with the responsibility of taking the promise into reality. And I was thinking, well, what do we need to do to be better? We knew that we needed to change the way that we motivate, incentivize, and reward our employees to drive customer lifetime value. We knew that we had to deliver new commercial models. We knew we had to find different ways of enabling our workforce and our partners so we could get better outcomes faster. How did we know? Because you told us. You told us that SAP, the technology is one thing, but the journey to get there is even more important. And the reality is, I didn't know whether we were going to be able to do it. I took on the start of last year, and I'm thinking, whoa, I'm worried. Are we able to make the change that we tell you to do? Are we able to drink the champagne of SAP? And are we able to embark on a business transformation that is enabling us for our future? You know what I realized? I realized three things. First of all, I am so blessed as a leader to have the most amazing family that are there for me every single day. I think they're watching live. Trina, Chelsea, Lockie, Soph, hope you're watching. Here I am, hi. They're an amazing support network, but I've got a team in SAP that inspires me to do better. I actually have to bring my A game every day because that's the standard that they set. So I'm surrounded by people who expect excellence. Secondly, I actually realized that SAP has been on the transformation journey for a number of years. The platform, the Christian, Luca, Thomas, Jürgen, Florian, our team, we have been investing and embracing our technology to help our business run better so we can serve you better. So guess what? In a heartbeat, I flipped the compensation platform from a legacy approach to a new modern approach which was focused on outcomes in a flick of a switch. I was able to roll out new commercial and business models to serve you in different ways through the platform of RISE and the SAP technology for the path that had laid behind me. But most of all, what I realized was the recipients of the change that we're trying to drive are the ones that are my biggest supporters. You. The reality is, you tell us when we run at our best, you get to run at yours. So it wasn't a case of having any difficulty of the mandate. We knew that we had to change, but we knew that you were in our corner. The reality is what we are professing that you should be able to do in all of the conversations that you're having in all of the areas and all of the custom stories is a journey that we're on ourselves. So we're not telling you to do something that we haven't done ourselves, and we will continue to strive to be better and better and better. But enough of SAP. The most important voice, the stars of this show, is our customers. And today, we have got two amazing guests that's going to join me on stage. The first is Art Sebastian from Casey's, a convenience store outlets in the Midwest. 
they have got an amazing business and they're going to talk about their digital transformation. And guess what? Pizza. Let's roll the video. I'm Art Sebastian, Vice President of Digital Experiences at Casey's. Casey's is a leading convenience retailer based in the Midwest, operating over 2,400 stores. Over the last three to four years, we've been deep in our digital transformation, launching new experiences to change the way we interact with our guests. SAP has been at the center of our digital transformation. It's the engine that runs our e-commerce business. Our mobile app is now the leading channel, representing 65% of total digital revenue. Digital is everybody's job at Casey's. It's not an afterthought, it's not a side hustle. Change isn't easy. It's always hard to take a look at yourself in the mirror and challenge yourself. It takes self-reflection, it takes focus, collaboration equals progress. I'm born and raised in Chicago. I grew up as the oldest of three kids. My leadership inspiration comes from my mother because she raised three children on her own. I learned a lot about leadership and responsibility. And my biggest sports leader, I'd have to say it's Michael Jordan, the GOAT. The power of leadership is pulling together many people to accomplish more than you can do by yourself. I'm excited about the future of Casey's. I think it's all about experiences and connecting with people. Like Let's welcome on stage Art Sebastian. Oh. Come around, come around. There you go, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to see you. Yeah. So Art, we're, uh, we're in a sort of a lounge room setting. Some of our close family friends here in the audience, thousands upon thousands of people uh, are hearing about the Casey story. We're so excited. You talked on video about the digital journey, the transformation you're on. Can you tell us a little bit more about what sparked the transformation? Why go through this and why was it so important? Yeah, absolutely. And, and first, I'd say thanks for having me. And, and this is a, a really cozy seat here. <laughs> so uh, back in 2018, we were uh, celebrating 50 years of existence. And we had a lot to celebrate. We had uh, surpassed 2,000 stores. We were having great success. Uh, we leaned into investments like our own supply chain and distribution center. And we put kitchens in all of our stores. So we had a lot to be proud about. But there was a moment in 2018 when we reflected a bit. And we asked ourselves, what does it take to be successful for the next 50 years? And that's a tough question. We said, we've got to modernize this brand. And that means the way our stores look, the way our stores are merchandised, the way our brand visual identity shows up. And we said, we want to become a much more contemporary version of ourselves and the digital experience was the first expression of the modern cases. So digital expression, trying to reinvent the way your business runs. Now, I get the pleasure of knowing the outcome. 5x revenue, 65% of the revenue that you now generate is digital. There must have been some challenges, but I guess more importantly, how did we partner with you? What was SAP's role in such a monumental change for cases? Yeah, I think um, first and foremost, we're very proud and humbled by the growth that we've seen, uh, specifically over the last two years, operating as an essential business and s staying true to our purpose of serving our guests and communities. Um, when we started this endeavor back in 2018 and, and you, you know, start the building of what we would call a digital transformation, you're obviously thinking about what are the experiences you want to build, what's the technology stack, and as we took a deep look at the landscape, and, and we did do that, we had to, um, we were really impressed with SAP. So no doubt that uh, SAP as a company has significant experience, scalability, but I think what impressed me the most was their ability to lean in with us to make something amazing. And we've got this unique business selling groceries, selling prepared foods that kind of mirror a QSR or restaurant experience, and SAP helped us think through how to customize our experience to meet the needs of our business. Yeah. 
And that's not easy because you've got that traditional model that you've already been established, you're successful at, your customers understood that, and you're trying to reinvent the way they engage with you in a different way. Reimagining the experience is so critical. We happen to have a great experience platform in SAP as well. I'm sure there were moments uh, where you, the program was under risk. I think everybody in this room understands that when you go through these change programs, no matter the technology, there are moments where the naysayers come in, critical issues come up, and you're uncertain. What happened? What were those moments, and how did you overcome it? Yeah, I think um, anytime you take on a big project or a digital transformation program, like I assume many of the folks in this room are, uh, there's a lot going on, right? You've got timelines, you've got challenges, you've got surprises. For us at Casey's, you know, we stayed true to our purpose and our vision, and that sort of gives us the North Star, right? So we know where we're headed. And similar to how you talked about sports in the, in the opening comments, I think everybody on the team has a role, whether you're in QA or you're in architecture or an engineer or a marketer helping run the business. And as we you know, come up with challenges and issues, I think pulling the team together and navigating that together, right. that's been the key for us, working together to solve issues and ultimately deliver the experience. But sometimes when you have that, I mean, I, we hear a lot about, well, yeah, we understand we've got to work together. Was there ways that you were able to cultivate that? Was there moments where you said, hey, SAP, we need you to lean in more, or through our partners, critical issues that you came up with that forced intervention, I'm interested in how you overcame them, yeah. not just uh, the process or the journey. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, um, you know, again, standing up systems and, and building experiences, and for us, as we really were thoughtful around customizing the experience, and I'll give you one example, right? We built a, a CYO, create your own pizza uh, application, and there was some unique elements to that. That took a lot of collaboration from folks. Mm -hmm. And you know, as I think about you know, how, to, how to partner across the org, like I said, um, it is about bringing to bear multiple skills and experiences and ensuring that we're working together with a common goal and, and really maximizing what everyone brings to the table. I guess linked to that is you're 50 years old, same as SAP. You've used technology that you know that works, and it works but you change the culture of your company. You, you talk about overcoming the challenges, but I'm assuming you had to win the hearts and minds of people, which may have been used to a certain way of operating and weren't so keen to make that change or, unwilling, or unaware of what they needed to do to make it successful. Yeah, yeah, I think um, there's a couple key things you said there. You said the hearts and the minds. And I think in business that is critical to ensure that we're uh, leading the organization both from a heart and mind perspective. You know, I think changing culture has probably been the most fun I've had. Um, I think it requires leadership. And what I mean by that are a couple of things. Listening to the team, right? Listening before you speak. I think having empathy and understanding what others on the team are thinking as you lay the vision out. And I think ultimately, uh, you know, I think laying out the vision and making sure that the vision is our vision. To me, that gets everybody on board, everybody's on the same page, and that helps evolve the culture of the organization. Yeah, you talk with, it, with ease, but a lot of businesses are wanting that script. Hey, how does the transformation work? I want to do A, B, C, D, E. I want to know that process, but the reality is an environment of diversity, an inclusive environment that brings those new ideas and perspectives you seem to have been able to master that pretty well. Yeah, you know, I, here, here's what I'd say. First off, none of it's easy, all right? It, it's real work, and uh, I don't know that there's a, an exact playbook that everyone can pick up and, and go execute against. I think uh, there are so many unique elements to each company. I think at the end of the day, it takes leadership. It takes bringing on the right talent and cultivating the culture for that talent to thrive. And I think it does, have a lot to do with the partners you bring to bear. You've got to have the right partners to lean in with you and invest in, in chasing that ambition. Well, we are so proud to be your partner, but of course, the most important question, the question that I have, and I think everybody else has, is if everybody's looked up Casey's, is an amazing 
convenience stores, and they've got wonderful pizzas. Now, I'm from Australia. I have pizza at night. Yeah? That's when you have pizza. <laughs> you, 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 it's your evening meal. Sometimes I might encroach during the middle of the day, but I understand that you have an amazing breakfast pizza. Is that a real thing? Like, is that, is that what happens? Look, I can, I can promise you breakfast pizza is a real thing. We call it Biza. And for those that haven't uh, been to the Midwest to experience it, you can visit one of our almost 2,500 stores and try Biza. If you happen to be in the Des Moines, Iowa area, Biza's on me. Biza's on, all right, you got it, everyone. Biza's on us. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for the partnership, the willingness to trust in the SAP technology, but more importantly, the trust in the organization that we can be a part of your journey. And we certainly look forward to being an ongoing member of the transformation that we no doubt will continue at Casey's. Ladies and gentlemen, Art Sebastian. So let's do a quick recap. The technology works, but the reality is, what did Casey's do? They moved from a conversation with their customers that was one way into a bi-directional, multi-directional, multi-faceted engagement that used our commerce platform, but engaged the experience in a wonderful way, no matter what the touch point. Casey's were focused on the transformation that had many key moments. It wasn't this one big success. There was a number of moments, solving a challenge, addressing an issue, uniting a team, bringing it together. And of course, the numbers do tell the story. In the partnership with SAP, but the work that they did, we were simply the enabler. They were able to achieve 5x growth. 65% of their revenue is now on a digital channel. Amazing, a round of applause again for Art Sebastian and the Casey's team. <laughs> Talking about digital, our next guest is with a company that I think you look at every day. Let's roll the video and hear about Google. I'm Melissa Goldman and I am Vice President of Corporate Engineering at Google. There's a lot of complexity when navigating change in a large enterprise, specifically the way people have grown accustomed to doing things and getting them to think about it differently. Bold leadership is really about uh, putting yourself out there, you know, making decisions that may be unpopular or inconsistent with the norms. For me, the most important aspect of leadership is being fair and equitable. I'm a fan of sport, all sport. I love uh, competition. Watching my children having participated in sport has really solidified the value of what you get from working on teams and persevering through different kinds of challenges and obstacles. I'm an enormous fan of Jackie Robinson. I think what he did in baseball and for the black community is absolutely phenomenal. My philosophy is really to always be looking forward. I think looking back, having too many regrets about decisions is very much a waste of time. There are so many changes ahead and opportunities ahead, including things like leveraging uh, SAP in that capacity. I think Google is an amazing company and I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, Melissa Goldman. Melissa, welcome. Great to have you here. Please grab a seat in my lounge room chairs. So before we start, can I just make sure you don't rat out my age or uh, oh, no. you agree with? <laughs> that's never going to happen. <laughs> that's never going to happen. I'm slightly uh, older. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what we saw there. We saw dynam dynamics. I'm sure you could join me on the basketball court. <laughs> I hope so. I don't know, with that chat, I, we were actually commenting back how many, uh, how many takes it took, so uh, you, you, you covered that, that correctly. That is like there's secrets in SAP, <laughs> but that's like, you know, that's like uh, CIA level secrets. No one's going to know that information. Melissa, Google, we all know Google the brand. 
Um, it's an amazing organization. First of all, just tell us what you're working on, what you're excited about, what's, what's happening in Google right now. Sure, so uh, in my CIO capacity, I have the responsibility of bringing uh, the best of technology and engineering to the Google community so that we can ultimately serve our internal stakeholders, our customers in the maximum way. And so that with it comes a lot of dimensions as to how to deliver value. Um, I'm responsible for all of the enterprise functions and so transformation initiatives as they apply to our finance portfolio, which uh, we'll, we'll probably talk a little bit more about. Um, you know, beyond that, our HR systems, our um, uh, compliance, I mean, it is, it is a vast array of uh, different kinds of responsibilities. One of which I think is quite compelling right now, which, you know, following the pandemic and this whole hybrid environment, um, it's really about, you know, creating um, fairness and equity in how people do their jobs going forward, you know, recognizing that uh, the workforce is, is changing around how we work and where we work and, you know, ensuring that everyone sort of has that equal opportunity to, um, you know, bring value to the organization is, is something that is also quite front and center uh, in, in my portfolio. You know, I, 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 I can say this, and I've spoken to Melissa a number of times, the words fairness and equity and and inclusivity just keeps on coming out, keep on, it's so front and center in your mind about what it is you do and how you engage and how you serve back to the Google community, but also the consumers and the customers of Google. 2017, the journey started. There was a multi-year transformation effort underway. It's been going for some time. And you leveraged SAP products. Why transform? Why did you need to do it? Yeah, so um, just to remind everyone, because you know Google is so prominent in so many products and, and we see it every day, that the reality is it is still a, a young company. Um, it, it, it very much focused its growth and its evolution on uh, prioritizing innovation, uh, speed to market, uh, really product aligned. And as a result of that, you know, there's a lot of fragmentation of uh, process, fragmentation of data, of the architectures uh, that support what is kind of the whole of Google. And you know, knowing that Google is such a data-driven company that the insights and the value in our sort of secret sauce of what we can bring to differentiate functions and process, the inability to do that as a result of how uh, the organization sort of grew and evolved was something that was becoming a, you know, a pretty significant constraint. And so really going after uh, the core of what was going to you know, ultimately enable us to bring the best of Google to the function was you know, a, a key driver in, in this transformation process. Yeah, I love that, bringing the best of Google, Google to the key functions, to the power of the users. The reality is you can work with any organization. You could probably build the technology yourselves. Why did Google choose SAP to transform? And probably more importantly for the audience is, what was the experience? What was it like? Sure. What is it like? I mean, you're, you're spot on with that um, in that, you know, Google does, uh, you know, hire uh, the best uh, engineers probably in the world. And so there's always a, there's always a tendency to believe that uh, you can engineer these, you know, these solutions uh, to the maximum. But the reality is, um, you know, SAP as an industry leader, uh, you know, in this domain is, you know, has been such a critical part of that journey. Um, you know, things like rigor and best practices, how to bring a enterprise, you know, from sort of start to end on that. Um, we really wanted to leverage, uh, you know, all of what SAP could bring to the table in that capacity. Um, the other elements are really around sort of discipline and rigor, which is sort of embedded in the products. And so ensuring that things like ultra customization and things that ultimately get you in trouble for, um, you know, for, for bringing, you know, such nuances to, to products, we wanted to ensure that we had the right, uh, the right rigor, the right uh, data model, the underlying um, sort of foundation of what we were sort of building on top of all of this. 
uh, you know, we were going to be held accountable to doing that around sort of process reengineering, data quality. And so to partner with a company like SAP um, was really, you know, phenomenal in terms of our journey to get from where we started to where we are today with um, obviously more, more to do, but, but certainly amazing progress. Uh, so I'm sure, and I'm very grateful that you said it so kindly uh, about the partnership, but I'm sure there were challenges. I asked Art the same question before. There's always challenges when you go through these journeys. How did you deal with it, and how did we deal with it together? Sure. I mean, that's, that's exactly it. It never felt like, you know, Google was on its own here. It felt like uh, very much a team in, in addressing, uh, you know, quite a number of things that you come along, you know, you, you, you encounter along the way. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm not to sort of repeat what Art said, but the culture is a big element. How do you teach, um, you know, new processes, new ways of doing things when it's so embedded and, and people have become so comfortable? And so, you know, taking any large or, you know, enterprise or organization and really driving that change uh, involves understanding what that North Star is, what that vision is, and, and how we're going to get there. I mean, at Google, we um, actually uh, re-engineered over 500 you know, different, uh, different processes, uh, you know, in order to make sure that we were normalizing, rationalizing, simplifying uh, in a lot of ways what needed to be done. We were migrating to new reference data standards, like all the things that you know, like if you were, you know, after years of experience of doing these things, like if you were going to start today, what it would look like, um, ensuring that we were embedding those principles in, you know, how we were, how we were doing this, not always being obvious uh, to every end consumer, kind of what the value proposition was that. But again, you know, I really appreciate that, you know, Google really sees beyond sort of the, the process into the vision and the innovation of what this could be. And so being able to maintain and sustain the energy around, you know, moving to that target state so that we can unleash the value uh, that we get by doing um, by doing some of these things um, has always been sort of front and center to what, what what keeps us going, waking up every day and sort of fighting the good fight and uh, and achieving uh, achieving what we've done. Always got to fight the good fight. Absolutely. Always got to fight. So you've talked about the fact that you had a compelling case for change. You talked about the experience of working with SAP and also the ability to overcome the challenges. You've been on this for a number of years. What's the outcome? You know, what's the outcome of the transformation and, and the partnership, and what does it mean for your business going forward? Sure. I mean, they're, uh, you know, just kind of at the core, at the absolute core level, uh, the fact that Google now runs uh, its finance operations, its uh, financial reporting, you know, all on um, SAP, uh, you know, and S4 HANA is, um, you know, one of the major, you know, elements of milestones that, that we've been able to achieve. Um, you know, going back to this sort of single source of truth, you know, how do we consolidate our data? How do we apply consistent data models? How do we ensure that the processes actually hold us to the discipline of now being able to kind of leverage that data? And so we can move now from just like corralling information to now the next order of uh, being able to apply, you know, all kinds of elements of data science to it. We've also been on this journey of enabling SAP on, you know, Google Cloud, and so, you know, we've had, uh, you know, a, a, an amazing, uh, you know, set of progress around that. Um, you know, leveraging, um, you know, our, our cloud environment and that capacity has really allowed us to up our level of, you know, security, uh, the control environment, even the ease of kind of provisioning new environments. And so the rate of change that we're able to um, apply has now been um, elevated as a result of just leveraging infrastructure um, that lets us do that. Um, and even, you know, being able to then impact, you know, other customers right. of, um, you know, SAP on, on Google Cloud, um, you know, you may think, you know, hey, Google's, you know, really large, but we've got, you know, some pretty significant implementations um, in that environment with uh, folks like PayPal and Home Depot, uh, Whirlpool. And so we are by no means uh, the largest uh, consumer of SAP on, on GCP, but, um, but really have used the learnings uh, that have gone on through this relationship and through our own experiences to kind of better um, the, the, the experience for our customers as well. Fantastic. Well, we heard from Art about pizza. I didn't know that was a thing. Pizza, I'm going to be getting it. What's the future for Google? What's, what's coming next? What can we expect as all as consumers and users? 
Yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a data geek, and so I, I can't emphasize enough, emphasize enough rather, um, the opportunity that we have around leveraging data uh, in the environment. And so we do uh, intend and have already things in motion around bringing you know, greater analytics to things like supply chain, procurement, forecasting, even fraud detection. And so um, you know, data sciencing the hell out of uh, this foundation that we've built. Um, we've got additional rollouts of you know, products uh, across our different uh, groups within Google. And so we're going to keep the momentum around that. And um, you know, even uh, other kinds of partnerships with Google around the integration of s hana and Workspace and being able to leverage the power of the relationship between um, you know, Google and SAP. I mean, these are all opportunities that continue to arrive. And, and this is just uh, you know, here and now, but um, there's, uh, there, there's a, a, a very strong uh, opportunity, I think, over time to continue to build that out and to you know, take the best of what the complement is, I think, between um, SAP and Google and sort of bring it forward to other opportunities. Melissa, the story of the Google change, and you said at the beginning, it's a young company, but it obviously has great impact. The role that we play in being able to be a partner of yours, be a part of that journey of transformation, and the knowledge that we've got to be at our best to help you going forward and that continuing the change. Thank you so much for the partnership. Thank you for sharing with everybody in the audience. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Melissa Goldman. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Quick takeaways for me. Number one, they chose SAP. They could have done it with other organizations. And the reason why is because we were partners. We were embedded in the transformation journey, not just the products and their capability. But the thing that I liked that I just heard the most, Google is a data-driven company. And the SAP platform is the foundation for that data-driven insights. And there can be no more important role that we can play in enabling their business. So Melissa, thank you again for sharing. Now we move on. I talked at the beginning of today about partnerships, the role that we play as customers and the customers together, but also our ecosystem of partnerships. Well, there is a particular partner that is critical. 30 years we have been together in this event and as partners with ASUG. Our next speaker is going to share about the vision of ASUG and the role that they play in helping each of you achieve your best. Let's welcome on stage Jeff Scott, CEO from ASUG. Hi, I'm Jeff Scott, and I lead ASUG, the America's SAP user community here in North America. ASUG is your North America user community. We're here to help you and your teams get the most value out of your SAP investment. We help you learn about what's going on inside the SAP ecosystem. We help you network with each other to get the most from our shared learning and our shared understanding, and we help you grow your careers. I've had the great privilege of working for very, very large organizations and very small ones. And I think having that diversity of background, having a diversity in where I grew up and how I grew up has really made me into the leader I am today. So while I don't think of myself as a natural leader, I think of myself as one who's learned to become a leader over all these years. I'm a Midwest person at heart and I am loving Michigan State University. I'm an alumni and the work that Mel Tucker's done to turn that football team around in the last year has been truly amazing to me. Listening to his leadership style has been really wonderful to see. I'm excited to see where he takes the program over the next couple of years. We were used to being a face-to-face -face community organization back in 2019. And over the past two years, we've had to learn how to be virtual. Foundationally, we are in such a different place that I think the idea of community and coming together and sharing experiences is immensely important for all of us as we think about where we go next. Now let's go do something really important with all of this and let's have some fun while we're at it. Please welcome ASA CEO Jeff Scott. Good morning everybody. Hi everybody. Come on you over there. Well good morning. That voice that introduced me a few moments ago has a name, and that name is Bill Buxton. Bill, say hello to the crowd. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a lot Hi, of claps for Bill. He's been here a long time. Good morning, everybody. 
So, Bill, please share with the crowd how many sapphires for you. I started back 22 years ago. 22 2000. years. And, Bill, how does it feel to be back? Well, Jeff, i got to say it's a little surreal. It feels like it was just yesterday, but it kind of feels like it's been forever. So welcome back, everybody. We're pleased to have you here. Welcome back. You know, Bill, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, let's give him a round of applause, folks. But it isn't just Bill. It's Bill's entire crew that's also back with us here as well this year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's this crew that makes what we do here over these days possible. And they are absolutely phenomenal. Just like us, these last few years have been super challenging for them, given that they make their living doing these types of events. So let's give his whole crew, everyone who brings this together for us, a round of applause for our thanks. I want to share a story with you, and I want to take you back to 2014. It was my first year doing this keynote here in Orlando. It was my first of now seven. It should be nine, but you know, some stuff's happened. Um, I moved from sitting in this audience with all of you to being up on this stage. I'd only been the ASUG CEO for a few short months, but I had a great team that was preparing me for my first big keynote, and it was a big deal. I had speech writers, I had speech coaches, I had lots of video, the whole nine yards, and I felt super prepared until I got here. I walked into this room for the first time knowing that I was going to be up on this stage, and I freaked out. I turned into a nervous wreck. But then I met Bill. And Bill was amazing. His team was amazing. He came up to me, he extended his hand, introduced himself, and said, welcome to the team. I've got your back. We will get through this together. He gave me some great advice and some great tips on how to handle something called the sweat. Because on keynote day, I sweated through my undershirt, my, my, my dress shirt, and my sport coat. I was an absolute mess. And I was super uncomfortable. But Bill, he got me through all that. He had my back. That day, he and his team were my community. They were my kindred spirits. And they got me through. ASUG is your Bill Buxton. We are a customer community. We are here for each other, and we are here to help each other succeed and make this SAP ecosystem strong and vibrant. Because when we come together, there is nothing we can accomplish for our organizations, for our teams, and for our careers. Because this is a community, and we are a community, and it is all about us. It's we and not me. I want to introduce you to the ASUG Board of Directors. These are your peers who collectively help us get the most from our investment in SAP. Board, please stand and say hello to the teams. Let's give them a round of applause. It's good to be back in person, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes? No? It's good to be back in person? Yeah, thank you. We need ASUG now more than ever. Our world is a mess. We live in turbulent times. Danger is lurking around every corner. The economy, supply chains, global unrest, the health of our planet, the state of our teams and organizations. It's a long list, and it can feel a little bit overwhelming. But let me focus on what we know about this SAP community. Each year, we do a pulse survey where we ask you for feedback, and we listen to your voice. And over 700 individuals responded. It was a record for us. And you told us the following. You told us that retaining and finding top talent is a big challenge. That remote work is here to stay, and it will fundamentally change the nature of how we approach big projects. Automation is essential to addressing the pervasive staffing and skill shortages 
across your organizations. The pace and demand of digitization is accelerating, and we are more likely to be behind the curve than in front of it. And if you're nodding your head and saying yes, 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 then we're all on the same page together. Because when we come together as customers, partners, and SAP, our chances of success are so much greater. This is what this ASUG community is all about. ASUG has been the North America SAP customer community for 30 years. We show up to practice. We know how to throw passes and score touchdowns. We have our three-point shot nailed, just like Scott. We absolutely play a team sport. Inside this community, you have access to the thought leaders, the experts, whether they be from SAP, the analysts, or fellow customers. Inside ASUG, you will learn tons of ways to connect, grow, and make your professional career that much better. And when you think you have something nailed, when you think you are the MVP, we want to hear your voice so that you can share your insights with everybody else. ASUG wants to inspire your growth and leadership so that you can inspire and grow others. This is the only way we will collectively elevate this ecosystem to help achieve the business outcomes that we have promised to our key stakeholders. And we need to deliver on these outcomes because we live in a fundamentally different world. A world where our collective investment in SAP is more important than ever. Where our collective voice back to SAP in the form of influence and advice and insight is more important than ever. Because this ASUG community doesn't see SAP as just another software vendor. We see SAP as a key strategic partner, a partner who is with us for the long term in the good times and the bad. This week, you're going to hear a lot about RISE, S4HANA, BTP, Signavio, and sustainability. ASUG is your source for unbiased information. We are actively curating the content to bring you the best thought leadership from SAP, from partners, and from your peers, from white papers to podcasts, from virtual meetups to in-person events like this week. We have you and your team covered. We know that our community is in information overload, that time is precious, and you need fast access to the right answers. This is why we are introducing Member Pathfinder. Member Pathfinder is how ASUG draws the lines between all the dots of information that bombard you and your teams every day. Let us do the work of curating the very best information so that you can make the best and most informed decisions. We are excited to see our 38 chapters return to face-to-face -face meetups. Come participate in your local ASUG community. Send your teams. This is some of the best SAP professional development out there. And I am pretty sure that there is an ASUG chapter just a short drive from your physical or virtual office. In Orlando this week, check out our 22 power peer groups, where we will tackle the most pressing challenges of our ecosystem as a community. You can find the times and locations on your mobile app. And if you're ready to coach others, we are ready to have you speak at chapter meetings, on virtual meetups, and at our hundreds of community events throughout the year. ASUG has developed some great leaders in this community. Just ask any of our board members or hundreds of volunteers. ASUG is the largest and best customer community. We have literally stood the test of time and the test of these past three years. As a community, we are simply better together. We have your back. We are here to help you, your teams, and your organization 
get the very best and the most from your investment in SAP. Welcome back. We are thrilled to have you back with us in Orlando. We have missed you. Thank you. And to bring us back home today, Scott Russell. Thanks, well done, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well done. done. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Scott, ASUG. OK, let's close this out. What have we learned today? Well, the first thing we learned is Scott Russell is a better basketballer than he is an SAP executive. I think we know that to be true. We learned that Casey's relied on SAP technology to drive not only a business change, but a cultural change that resulted in pizza. We understood that Google, as a data-driven enterprise, relies on SAP as the foundation, as the very platform to run their business and achieve their goals every day. But most of all, what we learn is we're in this together. I think Jeff said it beautifully. We are one team, SAP, with you, and with our ecosystem of partners at ASUG and the thousands of companies that serve you every day. We are in this together as one team. We are with you to transform. So my ask is simple, trust us. Trust us because when you partner with SAP, the journey will be worth it because the outcome is success. Be bold, be brave. Let's change the game. Ladies and gentlemen, the leaders of tomorrow, right here in Orlando, championship winning team from the University High School. Enjoy Sapphire, have a great day too. Let's go have some fun. Let's take the shot together.
Baby. 